Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is John Ray Coutinho, and for today's video, I will talk about FET Interactive Simulations in Teaching Science. Okay, let's get started. FET Interactive Simulations is a free software in teaching science and mathematics. It enables students and teachers to conduct experiment without an actual laboratory at their own home. So I will teach you how to use FET Interactive Simulations and how you will utilize it in your teaching. You can access the FET Interactive Simulations desktop site by entering fet.colorado.edu. Okay, so here you can see that FET Interactive Simulation is owned by University of Colorado. Okay, so we will go here in our simulations, in our simulation tab. As you can see, there are a lot of subjects that you can use FET Interactive Simulations. But for this example, we will just click All Sims. By clicking that, it will show you all the simulations available on each subject for lesson. Okay, for this example, I want to show you about physics, about motion. Okay, so when you click motion, you will see all the interactive simulations available in FET. Okay, so you can browse it and look for the simulation that is suited to your topic. For example, your topic is about forces in motion. So you can use this particular simulation. Okay, so you need to click that, and you have options to play it or download it. So what is the difference between the two? So when you download the simulation, you can access the simulation even without an internet connection. Okay, so we will download it, and then we will test later on if you can access that even without internet connection. Okay, and then another option is you can play this so that you can now start with your simulation. As you can see, the simulation is loading. Okay, so there are a lot of options here or subtopics that you can explore on this simulation. For example, about net force. Okay, so there are a lot of options that you can see, just like you want to see sum of forces, values, and speed. Okay, and students can just drag everything and then observe what will happen to the simulation. Okay, that is the same for the remaining of our simulation. So student can, can describe what happened to the simulation. And this simulation can be used together with the worksheet so that our students are guided in using the FET interactive simulation. Okay, so as what I said, um, you can access the downloaded FET interactive simulations even without an internet connection. So now I will disconnect with my internet connection. And then we will try to access our downloaded interactive simulations. So we will click the downloaded file. And it will automatically okay, go to the simulation that we had last time. Okay, so that is how you use FET interactive simulations in desktop. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you learned something about FET interactive simulations and you can use it in your teaching or if you're a student, 
you can use it in your science and mathematics subjects. Again, this is John Ray Cotino. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video.